Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use Spiderfoot to gather open source intelligence. Have you watched another video on our channel where we demonstrate using Multigo for Austin? If not, you can find the link to it in the description box below. Spiderfoot is another similar tool that can be used to automate Austin activity. Now, I will demonstrate how you can use Spiderfoot. You can download Spiderfoot from its GitHub repository and use the tool on a Windows, Linux, or Mac computer. Once the tool is set up, it can be accessed from the web interface. The scan target can be a person's name or email address or phone number or social media handle or a target domain name. You can run scans on the target based on use case, data, or module. I will tell you about each scan type. There are various third-party websites and tools that Spiderfoot can work with to gather open source intelligence. Some of these modules require you to configure API keys. You can scan a target using one or more modules. Otherwise, you can scan a target depending on the type of data you are looking for. You can find generalized scans present in the first use case tab. The all option would execute all the modules and gather all possible data about the specified target. Or you can collect specific information as listed here. Our first target has the name Azure Sky. Names must be present within double quotes. I will gather all possible information about the target. The scan takes some time to complete. You can observe the status of the scan from the scans menu. You can refresh this section. Once the scan is complete, click on the scan name to view the results. Within the Browse section, you can find the type of data Spiderfoot has identified about your target. A public code repository has been identified. The target's Venmo name has been found. Venmo is a payment service available in the United States. It is likely that the target is a resident or has visited the country recently. You can find some more information about the target's Venmo profile and some public key information. Spiderfoot also displays a graph about related data points. Now, let's gather information about a target for whom we have the email address. Again, I will gather all possible information about the target. Once the scan is complete, we can see that Spiderfoot has identified a similar email address that could belong to this target. It appears to be a work email address. Now, let's search for GitHub repositories having the name PyWhat. The name is enclosed in double quotes. I will perform this scan using only specific modules. First, I will deselect all modules, then choose the GitHub module and grep.app module. Now, I will run the scan. Please note that the search term PyWhat is case sensitive. Once the scan is complete, we can see that two repositories on GitHub have been identified by Spiderfoot with this name. Let's take a look at another scan. I have already executed a full scan on the domain name Geeks for Geeks. Spiderfoot has identified a great deal of open source data. We can find an affiliate email address. We can find a publicly accessible cloud storage bucket. 
some email addresses. Some subdomain names. Information about the SSL certificate currently in use. and the links to some web pages. Now, I will run a scan for a telephone number. For this, we will use the abstract module. It requires an API key. I have registered for free on abstract's website and have obtained the API key already. From the settings menu, the API key has been configured for my account. This is the target phone number. I will use the abstract module for scanning it. Once the scan is complete, we can see information about the carrier and the country where this number is registered and in use. In this way, depending on the needs of the investigation, you can configure API keys for other modules in Spiderfoot and use them. Do you want to try using Spiderfoot? Here is a project idea for you. Configure the API key for the Grey Hat Warfare module. Search for publicly accessible buckets and their contents using keywords relevant to your target. There is another module called Amazon S3 Bucket Finder that you can also use in your scans. I'm sure you will have some interesting findings. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.